Up next at 155 pounds in the women's lightweight division, Jenna Fabian, Yulia Pajic, a battle of two tall strikers. Jenna Fabian can, can clinch a spot in the playoffs where they finish in any round. Kenny Florian and Randy Couture. Let's welcome our next fighters first, Yulia Pajic. Yulia Pajic, not a lot of experience. She ran right into Pacheco in her first fight out. She says she's better than that. She learned a lot from that loss, and she wants to force the stand-up with Jenna Fabian and see whose stand-up is more dominant. Six feet tall, she feels she's well-rounded, has some striking experience, a couple of submission victories. Yulia Pajic representing Montenegro. She's trained all over the Balkans. She's trained in Germany, has some diversity to her game, picking up lessons at wherever she goes. And her opponent, Jenna Fabian. There is Jenna Fabian, trains out of City Kickboxing in New Zealand, one of the top gyms in the world right now, home of Israel Adesanya and Alexander Volkanovsky, two UFC champions. And she started out her early career as a track and field star, then moved into Muay Thai, where she won a world title. So she's been a very successful athlete. And again, you, you can see she really demands perfection from herself, despite getting the win in her first fight here uh, this season. She was not happy. She really felt like she should have got the finish, and she's going to try to do so tonight. Tail the tape, two six foot tall women each weighed in at the lightweight limit. Four inch reach advantage in the arms for Jenna Fabian, a five inch reach advantage in the legs for Yulia Pajic. New Zealand versus Montenegro. And we send it to Lillian Garcia. Over 20 nations are represented here in this 2021 PFL regular season. And now we continue the action in the women's lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. She is a striker who stands at six feet tall and weighs in officially 156 pounds. She has a professional record of three wins against only one defeat. Fighting out of Frankfurt, Germany and representing Montenegro, here is Yulia Pajic. Her opponent fighting out of the red corner. She is a Muay Thai specialist. Standing at six feet tall, she officially weighs in at 155 and one half pounds. She also has a professional record of three wins against only one defeat. Fighting out of Auckland, New Zealand, here is Jenna Fabian. Your referee in charge, Vito Shawin. Jenna Fabian in the red, Yulia Pajic in the black and gray. Two six foot tall women. And Randy, oh. oftentimes for Jenna Fabian, the first fight is the scale. You can see not any fat on her. It's all tall, lean muscle. And she was able to be efficient with the weight cut. Yes, yeah, this weight cut was much easier for her. The quick turnaround, getting right back into camp and right back to business, made it much easier for her this time. And this is as fit as I've ever seen her. Jenna Fabian in the southpaw stance. Yulia Pajic circling on the outside of the smart cage in an orthodox stance. Now, Pajic has two submissions. If I'm looking at a Muay Thai world champion, I'm going to try and get this fight to the ground and use my submission skills, not see or prove anything in the standing position. Maybe that was a misdirection, but she said she wants to prove whose stand-up is most dominant. Fabian controlling the center of the cage right now. That open stance certainly presents some interesting opportunities for the snatch single legs and things like that as you're toe to toe, sometimes literally with your opponent. We'll see if Pyatt tries to take advantage. 
And Pajic has to watch out for that left high kick there from Jenna Fabian as Fabian starts to close that distance little by little. Pajic circling left, avoiding that power hand and power leg of Jenna Fabian. There, a left hand snuck through for Jenna Fabian. Tries to re-engage immediately. Good measuring of the distance by Pyatt. First left hand by Fabian was nice and straight. The second one looped a little bit and didn't quite reach. Pyatt's doing a good job of moving laterally, making Jenna have to close that distance repeatedly. And she's mixing up her strikes pretty well as well. Jab and a left hand from Jenna Fabian. <laughs> Jenna Fabian can clinch a playoff spot with a finish in any round coming off a decision victory. Yulia Pajic is going to need an early finish to give herself hope for the playoffs. Oh. Nice hook there from Jenna Fabian. Now steps into a clinch. That definitely got Pyatch's attention. That right hook landed right on the temple. Trying to set up the plum and dig some knees in is Jenna Fabian. Pyatch now to the body lock. Fabian circles off. Eats a hook from Yulia Pyatch on the counter there. Smile from Pyatch. And Fabian acknowledged the fact that she was unhappy with herself after her last fight because she didn't take advantage of opportunities. And sometimes, Kenny, that when you, you land a nice punch and then you dive into a clinch like this, that, that's missing some of those opportunities. Yeah, that's right. She's going to need that space if she wants to land with power. And uh, from here, it just ties things up. It's hard to generate a lot of power from this position. You can certainly drive up some knees to the body and things like that. But these are not going to be the kind of shots, for the most part, that stop a fight. We saw footage of Fabian in the training room working on clearing these positions and punching her way out of it. And there we see her execute a little bit of that. And sometimes if you're a little winded, you know, those clinch positions end up being kind of your rest at times and, uh, you know, you can kind of get a little too comfortable there. Leg kick to lead things off from Yulia Pajic. Another combination from Fabian. And a jab lands. A little taunting from Pajic. Perhaps trying to get Jenna Fabian to rush forward and engage. Inside of 30 seconds remaining in round one. Jenna has definitely picked up the pace, though. She's landing many more combinations now. Strong left hand there from Jenna Fabian. As we draw to the end of round number one, another left hand attempt. Round one comes to a close. Round two next. Southpaw versus a right-handed fighter there. Jenna landing a nice combination there. There's a nice knee from Fabian. Nice left hook from Pajic and a return left hand from Jenna. Round number two, Jenna Fabian representing her home country of New Zealand in the red. Yulia Pajic, our lone fighter on the PFL roster from Montenegro in the black and gray. Fabian can secure a playoff spot with a finish in any round. A measured performance in round number one, to say the least. FPR score says 47 to 20 in favor of Fabian. No grappling really to speak of. Those scores come from 
damage strikes landing. A couple of left hands did score for Fabian. Good inside leg kick there from Pajic. Yeah, I think, you know, Jenna is the kind of striker that really utilizes timing. And in order to get that timing, you got to do some analysis on your opponent. It takes her a little while, it seems, to get warmed up. And uh, Pajic, of course, using, using a lot of lateral movement, that could also make things a little bit more difficult. You can't just walk straight forward at your opponent. It's hard to move a, a target that's moving laterally repeatedly. A little kick combination there from Jenna Fabian. Went to the leg and then tested the high kick. I don't want to beat a dead horse here, Kenny, but Jenna Fabian guarantees herself a playoff spot with a finish. A decision victory far from guarantees anything yeah. for her. Then, you know, Taylor Gardato has two decision victories already. Uh, that opens up a whole can of worms depending on tiebreakers. I don't, don't want to get in the weeds with those just yet, but Jenna Fabian needs to search for a finish here to guarantee anything and she goes to work with that leg kick. Yeah, we're seeing a little bit of an increase in that sense of urgency from Jenna now. She's landing with more frequency now. Seems like she's landing harder shots as well, but she's gonna have to pick it up right now if she wants that finish and guarantee her spot in the playoffs. And the same can be said of Yulia Pyatt. She's coming off a loss. If she wants a, a, a prayer for a playoff spot, she's got to get a finish. And she probably needs to yeah. get to work here in the second round. <laughs> Jab to the body from Jen Fabian, mixing it up here. Yeah, and just based on what I'm seeing, it seems like Jenna does have a good amount of power in her shots. Might be able to put Pyatch away with a, a two or three punch combination. For Pyatch, she doesn't hit with that same kind of speed, that same kind of power. Probably going to take more strikes for her to really finish the fight here against Fabian. Pyatch continues to taunt Jenna Fabian into some striking exchanges, maybe realizing that, hey, this pot shotting on the outside, that, that's not really my game. If I'm going to get a victory here, I need to draw her into a firefight. So utilizing all the tactics, so to speak. Yeah, I think that's her best best bet is to try to draw Fabian into a more of a brawling type fight here. Oh, nice oh. left hand there from Fabian. Knocks, Knocks the mouthpiece out. out. Victor Shaolin Hibero. Little talk now from Pyatch to the corner of yeah. Jenna Fabian after that stoppage. Well, Yulia's got to be careful because she can't stop the fight. If you lose your yeah, mouth guard, you got to hit. Yeah, she's lucky that didn't punch her there. Absolutely. you got to protect yourself at all times. It's the referee that determines when you can take that break, so. Pointing at your mouthpiece <laughs> is only so effective as it comes flying out of your mouth when you eat a punch. Pyatch has got to get to work here. And Jenna Fabian maybe some confidence built from that stiff left hand that landed just a few moments ago. Is it me or is Fabian circling the other way now? In the first round, she was stepping outside that lead leg of Pyatch, and now she seems to be circling towards Pyatch, Pyatch's power. Maybe she's read something. Maybe she realized she doesn't. Oh, that's a nice head kick. Oh, and a left hand. oh that drop. Jenna Fabian drops Julia Pyatch and pounds her out in the second round. Five points and a playoff spot secured. Wow. What a shot upstairs with the kick. Finishes it off with the hands. Beautiful Jenna finish. Fabian. Wow. <laughs> Feeling it out, measuring it out, pacing it out, and then lands the combination she needs. Cajunomic stats bundle presented by Geico. Jenna Fabian puts it away. A couple of those 34 landed strikes were enough.
Welcome back to Ovation Hall. Sean O'Connell, Randy Couture, and Kenny Florian, and Jenna Fabian, the Kiwi, victorious in the second round. TKO victory. She wanted the finish, and she got it. The left hand knocked out the mouth guard, and you see Pajic kind of point to her mouth guard, lost some focus, it seemed there. Right high kick landed. Big left hand. Oh, man. Devastating strikes there from Fabian. Tell you what, we've seen Jenna Fabian land the long straight oh, left hand. Yep, and that little short left choppy hook. And oh. That's what did the job there. The same, the same sure. punch that Pacheco landed on. <laughs> yeah. On Pajic, exactly. In fact. Yeah. From a bit of a switch stance here, there's the wow. high kick. That knocked her a little off balance, a little bit loopy, and Jenna Fabian recognizes the opportunity. And here's the step in. Oh. Oof. It's yep. academic at this point. Victor Shaolin steps in and waves it off. Jenna Fabian secures a playoff spot with that TKO. Fighter performance rating, conservative scores in the first round, but in the second, a finish earns you 100 out of a possible 100. FPR presented by Rich Energy. Lilia Garcia makes it official. Ladies and gentlemen, the stoppage comes officially at four minutes and 16 seconds of round number two. Your winner by TKO, earning five points and clinching a spot in the 2021 PFL playoffs, Jenna Fabian! <laughs> Five points to go with her three points from the first half of the regular season. If my math is correct, Randy, that means eight total. 